is important to me because it keeps me connected with the world. I rely on Braille for my schoolwork. I rely on Braille to do homework. I rely on Braille for fun. Braille is literacy, the only way blind people can read and write. This tree could grow. Today, Braille is even more powerful. Digital technology gives blind people faster access to more information and levels the playing field at school, the office, or home. It's similar to a laptop. There are ones made with a Braille keyboard. It has a refreshable Braille display on the bottom. So anything that I type or anything that I'm reading, a book that I'm reading, let's say, um, will come up on the bottom braille display. Basically the Pac-Me Omni has my life on it. And then I can run a spell check. I'm a horrible speller. Brendan is in the seventh grade. What have we learned from Iraq? Using his device, he can read along or take notes. A surge of words, so maybe that could be a lesson like use a surge. Just like the others working on the group presentation. Jack is in the fifth grade. With the help of his Aunt Bonnie, he's writing a book about a boy who rescues dogs. I have this wonderful machine here. I write it with this. My dog is exceedingly affectionate. And then I can email the latest version of the book to my Aunt Bonnie, and she can email it back. Marissa, an honor roll student, is in 10th grade, and like any teenager, can't survive without access to Facebook or I am. I keep in touch with my friends in a number of ways. It's just faster to read a message in Braille than it is to listen to it and to respond. Rocco is in the 8th grade and an excellent musician and singer. He's also in a program at the Berkeley College of Music where he's learning to score music in Braille. Kids like these thrive when they can use the latest high-tech Braille technology, but few blind children get that opportunity. These devices cost six to eight thousand dollars. That's more than most families and schools can afford. Sam is in the fourth grade and is in the top of his class. Sam, what's the cost of one bottle? One bottle is 40 cents. And uses the traditional Perkins Brailler to write and answer homework questions. It's a cumbersome, slow process. <laughs> Technology is a game changer for blind people, and if they can't afford it, they can't keep up. So National Braille Press developed the Center for Braille Innovation. Our mission is to develop high-tech Braille products that are affordable, so blind kids can reach their full potential. In this increasingly touchscreen-reliant wireless world, speech software and audio devices are very useful tools for blind people, but they aren't a substitute for Braille. You can't write with them, and you can't use them effectively everywhere. If I didn't have Braille, I would be absolutely, positively lost. I, I wouldn't be very independent. What we need is to put these in every blind child's hand so they can have the same access to the same technology that sighted children have. As technology continues to change, we're committed to being an information broker and a developer of affordable Braille technology. We're National Braille Press bringing Braille into the future and the world to your fingertips.